Although we often feel as though science has given us the answers to everything, especially when it comes to the functioning of the world around us, the truth is that we have barely scratched the surface. When it comes to space and our very own oceans, two of the last unexplored frontiers, it's fair to say that our knowledge is lacking. In fact, we cannot even begin to wrap our minds around how much we don't know about these two mysterious regions. But this doesn't stop us from trying, and every day we learn just a little bit more about the space and water that surrounds us and feeds our very existence. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three recent scientific announcements and discoveries that put us one small step closer on the path to greater understanding. Scientists dig the deepest ocean hole in history. It is very common for scientists wishing to study the geological and natural history of an area to take soil samples from the Earth. In some cases, an entire core from a very deep section is taken in order to study how the core composition and geography changed over time as a result of climate change and environmental factors. Usually these experiments are carried out by taking core samples of glaciers or tundra areas. However, this method becomes slightly more difficult when the area in question is the Japan Trench, a region off of the Japanese coast where the Pacific Plate and the Okhorst Plate converge. The movement of these plates along the trench is responsible for the vast majority of tectonic activity in the region, especially earthquakes and tsunamis along the coast of Japan. Notably, the ongoing subduction of the Pacific Plate beneath the Okhotsk Plate was responsible for the devastating 9.1 magnitude Tohoku earthquake and tsunami that occurred in 2011, which caused devastating damage to the Fukushima nuclear power plant. Scientists wishing to study the tectonic movement of these plates and the resulting earthquake history of the region needed to take samples from the epicenter of the Tohoku earthquake for analysis. However, as the epicenter was over 8,000 meters below sea level, scientists were forced to use the best technology available to remove a sample core from such a deep area, as the logistics of power, pressure and depth are obstacles that require incredibly precise calculations to overcome. However, the researchers were able to embark on the project after months of preparation, and the resulting 37-meter core, already 8,000 meters below sea level, was by far the deepest ocean hole ever dug. To accomplish this feat, researchers aboard the Kamei research vessel sent a massive drill known as a giant piston corer down to the sea floor, waiting almost three hours before the drill finally reached the bottom. Once here, they were able to extract the sediment core. They then had to wait several hours as the drill slowly rose the 8,000 meters back to the ship. The scientists' excitement to study the sediment samples is twofold. First, they hope to gain a greater understanding of the history of centuries of tectonic activity in the region, as well as to be able to expand knowledge the world over of what the seabed holds so deep below the surface. The previous record holder for the deepest ocean hole ever dug was a 1978 sample taken from the Mariana Trench, which was drilled to about 7,000 meters below sea level. The Japan Trench sample significantly beat out this record by around 1,000 meters, but still fell short of the deepest hole ever dug on land, which was the Kola Superdeep Borehole in Russia. However, the borehole was dug over a significantly larger amount of time, taking 12 years to drill over 12,000 meters into the Kola Peninsula for samples of continental crust. Secret Population of Blue Whales Discovered It is almost impossible to wrap our minds around how truly gargantuan the oceans of our planet are, both in scope and depth. And what is even harder to comprehend is just how much there is hidden within these waters that we do not know about and likely never will. For example, almost unbelievably, an entire population of pygmy blue whales was discovered in the Indian Ocean recently. This species grows up to 24 meters long. So how could an entire colony of animals that are individually as long as two city buses remain hidden from scientists and marine biologists for so long? 
It is partially because of the intense difficulty of finding life in the depths of the oceans, where humans cannot stay for long periods of time, and whose populations are always on the move. It has been impossible thus far to study every square meter of the existing aquatic habitats, and it is a testament to the sheer magnitude of the oceans that the remaining mysterious spaces are large enough to hide dozens of whales and their homes. Whales themselves are also very difficult to find, especially blue whales, because their numbers were bordering extinction due to whaling and have only recently begun to bounce back. The whales that are left are spread across a broad geographic expanse and usually live in very small groups, making it hard to pin them down. Surprisingly, the best way to find whales is to not look for their sheer size, but to listen for their unique sounds using hydrophones. In the Indian Ocean, there are very few passive acoustic monitoring stations set up, meaning that the potential for undiscovered populations is very high, so a team of marine ecologists set out to remedy this situation. They decided to use underwater nuclear bomb detectors through the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization, shortened to CTBTO, which monitors global waters for signs of illegal nuclear testing. The CTBTO has a network of these nuclear bomb detectors throughout international waters and has years of past data storage. The scientists were able to use this data intended to keep the world peaceful for another purpose, discovering populations of whales. Blue whale calls are like the human language in that all whales use calls as a form of communication, but every population and subspecies have their own unique variations that are distinguishable from the rest. As the researchers analyzed the CTBTO data, they realized that they were hearing a variation of the blue whale language that had not been heard before, which led to the discovery of the new pygmy blue whales, which were named the Chagos population, inspired by a group of islands in the Indian Ocean near where the colony lives. What is even more surprising is that the sounds of the Chagos population dominate the underwater acoustics of the area, and have for almost 18 years. This is according to the archived recordings. This means that it truly is an entirely undiscovered population, rather than one or two individuals who were separated from their main colony. The only question that remains is just how big this population is, which will require visual identification and further acoustic surveys. No matter the size, however, researchers are thrilled that they will be able to add numbers to the total count of the ocean's endangered blue whale population and hope that future analysis of CTBTO data will unveil even more hidden populations, whether blue whale or otherwise. Black holes could contain gas tsunamis. Since black holes obviously cannot be studied up close and personally, scientists working with NASA created computer simulations to create working models of what the environment in and around black holes resembled. This is in an attempt to understand how they form and work. What they discovered with these simulations that they did not expect was the presence of massive, swirling, wave-like structures that resembled huge tsunamis at the mouths of the black holes. After studying these formations, the astrophysicists working on the project believe that they are swirling waves of gas that are on the edges of the black hole's gravitational pull. The swirling gas and space junk surrounding the void is constantly feeding into the gravitational pull and shooting out bright emissions and X-ray projections beyond the gravitational reach, which would ordinarily suck the radiation particles back in. These rays also act as an outflow system that pushes wind out of the emission stream, as well as creating clouds of sorts that hover as dense pockets of gas at the edges of the supermassive black holes. When viewed through the simulation, all of these elements form fast waves of burning hot gas and matter over ten times hotter than the surface of the Sun. The tsunamis appear to be forming in the midst of these wave formations, fed by X-ray emissions and pockets of hot gas periodically rusting from within the black hole, a phenomenon that is also present in Earth's weather systems. This study proves that black holes may be more similar to planetary systems and functions than we thought, and also disproves previous theories 
about the workings of the hot, deep space gas surrounding supermassive black holes. But what do you make of these interesting announcements and discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.